We're raising the issues that we want to engage the nation in with regards to the future shape of defence. Uh, we've ring-fenced the budget for last year and we'll get considerably more money, £5 billion, for the current operations in Afghanistan, which are needed with the effort that is being uh, you know, made there. Well, there are certain facts uh, you know, that we can't get away from. The aircraft carriers are already partly built, we're cutting the steel. Uh, you know, we committed to them a couple of years ago. Uh, I can't foresee, uh, you know, unless there's a pretty radical departure from uh, you know, things as, as they probably are going to be, uh, the aircraft carriers are not going to be needed. So you know, there are things that we know are going to happen uh, you know, and we might as well say so. We are not going to revisit uh, you know, the decision on the future, uh, the replacement for the nuclear deterrent. I believe that for, for the foreseeable future, our single most important relationship, bilateral relationship, uh, will be uh, with the United States of America. Most of that through NATO, but France has now rejoined uh, the NATO command structure. And, and France is one of the most uh, capable in the military area of any of our European partners. It's often put that there's a choice for us between Europe and America. I don't see it that way at all. Uh, if we're strong in Europe, uh, we are stronger in terms of our alliance uh, you know, with the United States of America. And both are needed to provide security for our people. Joint Helicopter Command now, uh, you know, unheard of, unbelievable, a generation uh, you know, ago. But our helicopter fleet is controlled by a joint commander, involves all three services. Uh, so a lot of what we do has, has been put into a joint organisation. Should we go further? Uh, you know, is there, you know, in going further, does that give us efficiency and does it give us better backup? I don't believe that we can allow a vested interest, whether or not it's a single service interest or a political interest or an industrial you know, interest, stand in the way of defence capability when we need to provide security for the nation. I think we will still have you know, three services, but it's not as simple uh, as that. I've just given you the example of the Joint Helicopter Command. Uh, you know, the, the, the three services do not stand as separate as they once did.